So this very long address I couldn't type in the right the fr right the first time is www.professionalpapervision.com forward slash demos forward slash supper club forward slash supper club dot jpeg. And that's the JPEG that we're going to use to build with. We're going to bring that in as our background to Blender. And when we're going to trace over it, or in a sense, build our foundation over it and extrude those walls up. So right click on that and go save picture as, and go ahead and save that to your desktop. And we're going to import that into Blender. Tomorrow, were you able to find it? Oh, I found it, but I'm just watching the first. Are you there, Lois? So here's a graphic that you gave our, our group and our graphic designer actually enlarged it a little bit so we can do a better job of drawing in Blender. And uh, we're just and we have that on the desktop, so let's bring Blender up and uh, clear the screen for what we have on there. Uh, Control X to clear the screen and start over again, erase all. You don't need that well actually you're gonna use that you don't need that box. Now this is a difference. This is a cube, right? You don't want a cube. You actually want to use a plane. So and what I'm going to do is now is delete. Did I delete that? Yeah, you want to get rid of that. And I'm going to hit, um, do a few things here. I'm going to bring my image in first. So go to view. And background image, absolutely. We did this last time. View, background image, use image, load. Go find your image. Now up here you can see right on the side you can click on this and navigate to the desktop. That's where I had you put it. So you're going to click on that and you're on the desktop and it is called Supper Club. There it is. And then make it hit select image and that then there it is right there in Blender. Now if I roll that middle mouse button in closer I can see more detail there. You see that? Did Lois erase it? Oh boy. Well, Lois, this is your project, so you know, don't do that. Now we're going to start off by modeling this upper room right here. Uh, I spent some time with playing around with this room right here already, and we're going to actually see if we can do a good job of making that happen. I'm assuming this was the stage uh, where the singer was, is that correct? We have a ray room, yes. Yeah. Two stages, but that's where Davidson was. was in the and you know, I guess he's, he never talks about this. I, yeah, I think I may have heard that. I'm not sure what happened, but it was very disturbing for him, so no doubt. He won't talk about this, John, do you? He won't talk about it, so I don't, I'm not sure what that means, but you know, I can imagine it's, it was pretty horrifying. And what we're going to do, we're going to bring out a little plane, we're going to shrink it down, and we're going to stretch it around these walls, and then we're going to extrude it to make our room. So what you want to do is make sure you roll in so you can start drawing. I'm going to expand this a little bit so I can see it better. Now remember, shift middle mouse moves that around. Okay. And rolling makes it, makes it go back and forth. Okay, we're going to work in the seven axis. So we click on that seven, and we're going to go ahead and add a plane. Hit the space bar, add a plane. Boom! There's your plane. And now we've got to really shrink that plane down because these walls are really tiny because this place is really huge. And so I'm going to hit the S key, and I'm going to shrink it way down. See that? It's right way down. And I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to start up here in the corner. Oh, okay. Uh, what we're going to do when she makes it tiny, we're going to put up here in the corner. We're going to start drawing down from there. So now we're going to extrude this. Now, it's not going to quite stay on the line because this is a drawing and everything's not quite straight, but it'll be close enough for what we need to do. So I'm going to come along here and I'm going to hit the tab key. Remember? I'm going to hit the A key to get off of everything. I'm going to make sure that I'm down here. I'm in what? Edge selection mode. And I can go ahead and roll in there and get real close on everything if I need to, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and select that edge and it's time to extrude. So E extrudes for me. And now I and see how it's going all over the place? I have an option here. I can hit the uh, hit one of the X, Y, or Z's to straighten that out or I can just try to eyeball it. And I'm going to try to eyeball it because there's a lot to draw here. 
Now, the big question is, do I want these inner walls to be drawn? You see the bar, let me kick it off. You see the bar wall right here and the woman's wall and the men's wall? Do I want those walls? And if I do, then I need to stop and extrude, stop and extrude, stop and extrude. So you just need to keep that in mind. Now, each time you stop and extrude, you add vertices. Each time you add a vertice, you slow the program down just a, a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to stop right here because I want to want that wall. Hit E again. And E again to keep extruding just like that. E. Click E to extrude. Click E. Yeah, what's going to happen tomorrow? Let me show you this. I'm going to come along here and I'm going to click on this. Oh, and you'll have to extrude, extrude that wall out. Absolutely. Nice. So if you're having problems with this, then what you want to do is go ahead and hit extrude. And in my instance, it's Y, and that straightens me out. You see that? And then I can click on that, and I'm, I'm, I'm assured I'm always going to be straight. I don't have to eyeball it. Just for me, we just have so much to draw here. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible, so I'm going to try to just do it by hand, try to be steady. So once again, an E key, I'm going to go, now I get to extrude all the way down. I can stop, let me try that again. I can actually stop here and just use the translation tool now. I don't have to keep extruding, just as long as I don't have to make a new box. So I'm going to actually hit my shift key, bring this up a little bit, and I'm going to extrude down to the next, actually just stretch down to the next place. Now, do we need this little room right here? I'll leave that. I can just put a box there in its place. So that just saves me a little bit of coding there. So I'm going to bring that down. This room right here, though, however, may be important. I'm not sure what it is, but I, I looked at it in the diagram earlier, and it may be an important room. So I'll go ahead and include that. I'll like, do a little extrusion there so I can bring that wall out. Another, it is. For, it is something like that. I'm going to extrude right here. And then I'm going to come to my end, and I'm going to extrude my, my next piece right there. And now I'm ready to go this side. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch up with me, and I'm gonna draw a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna we're gonna come back to the tutorial here live, and and uh, see if we can bring this extrude this thing up. Okay, Lois, I'm gonna show you something that I'm gonna do here that uh, that is important for doing this building. Uh, there's many ways to do what I'm about to do, but I, I like this because it keeps everything in proportions. Uh, there's way, so if I grab on this edge, for example, and I want to make this, this is like well, maybe a 45 or something right here. There's ways to do that. If, if I try to do just an extrusion of the edge, and I do that, see, it's not the right size. And, and you can get away with that. But I actually want it to look right, and it doesn't quite look the way I want it to look. So what I'm going to do to get around that, I'm actually going to uh, bring out another vertice, extrude it, make a little face, and bring it up parallel to that face. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to vertice mode. I'm going to A to get off of that. I'm going to right click on this vertice and I'm going to hit E to extrude a vertice. So we've been extruding surfaces but here I can just extrude a vertice. You see that? And I want to make it about right here. I'm eyeballing it once again. It's not, there's no uh, rocket science here. And I'm just going to click there. And then I'm going to actually, all I'm going to do now is shift click on the other vertice and now I'm going to hit my F key and it connects a line and actually connects those lines. I'm going to shift and click on that vertice right here and this what I'm going to do is hit F to make a face. There's my face. I can go back to vertice selection now, or excuse me, edge selection. Right, cl uh, right click on the edge, hit my E key and extrude that out. And see now that, now that looks parallel and that looks right. See, Now it, it was almost right. This vertice is off a little bit so I can fix it. So I can come back here and right click on that and actually move it around a bit, little bit until I feel comfortable of where it's at. Okay, and so that's just the way it goes. And I'm going to want to come up here and uh, square this off and go back straight again. And, and there's a little bit more work involved there, but I tried it the other way and it just didn't look good. It looks better this way and I feel better about it and I can get everything the right width. Otherwise, I'm shrinking the width a little bit here. So that's just a technique. Would you I'm rather do that than take that final square and cut it into a triangle? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up now and then we're going to try to extrude it. And so you can see I'm almost done here. I'm really close to being finished with the entire thing. 
Let me go back to uh, seven, and I'm just going to connect these two pieces right here, and I'll be complete. So let's go ahead and just grab this and see how close we are. And uh, I'll hit the ET extrusion. So I'm pretty close, not too close, but close enough. And I can just move some edges around and, and just match it up. So I'll come along here and uh, hit my B key and select those, kind of bring them down a little bit. Oops, didn't get everything. Let me hit A to get off of everything and hit my B key. And let's see if we can get those edges selected and bring those down. And I got a little vertice here I need to select and bring down. Let's bring that down. 